Grammy, this is the Marlins' first finals appearance in a couple of years. How are the team uh, shaping up ahead of it? Mate, the team's... Um, last night we had an evaluation session and we spoke about things to get things back on track. I think, um, mate, it'll be... If any time, a win this week would be great for us. I know we haven't had the best uh, lead into the semis, but we weren't number one for the first half of the season for nothing. So. How are you going to turn it around? It has been a run of fairly average results. How are you going to turn it around? Uh, we're going to play smarter and I think more direct. We've kind of, the first half of the season, that, that was our key. We played up the field rather than going too wide and too early. So I think direct would be our key. You've been Eastwood twice already this year. What areas are you going to identify to attack on Saturday, on Sunday, rather? But, um, I think with Eastwood, they'll probably have some injuries, so I think uh, if we can put pressure on their 9 and 10, that's always the key spot. Uh, their nine's Chris O'Young, who's a great player, so if we can shut him down, everyone else can't feed off anything. So It's quite fitting that you play against Eastwood, having spent a number of years there uh, yourself. You take on Hugh Parrott, uh, he's a tremendous player. How will you look to shut him down during the game? I, I think be beating him to the ball, and, uh, you know, the main thing is focusing on my job. I'm one of those players that don't worry about other people too much, otherwise you fall behind. So focus on your job, beat him everywhere else. You can't complain. Tyrone Smith more than likely won't play this weekend after getting red carded last week. Who will fill his spot in the back line? Uh, Johnny Payne. He's just come back from overseas early in the year and he's uh, earned a spot in the starting, in the starting team. Um, I think Tyrone's up for three weeks, so he's definitely gone. What chance uh, Johnny Payne's ex-schoolmates, uh, George Smith, and, uh, and his good friend Wycliffe Parley joining him this weekend? George Smith, highly unlikely, but I think Wycliffe Parley, there's a good chance, a very good chance he'll come back and get some game time with Manly. And should Cliffy come back in, or he'd go in at eight, what, uh, what does that mean for you in terms of where you'll play? I think I'll slide back into my number seven position, and uh, the loose forwards will stay as it, as it is, with uh, Dylan Sig on the side and Cliffy at the back. And just quickly, the progress of Tim Fairbrother, the prop that's come across from the Hurricanes to play with the Force next year, what sort of, what's he brought to the team? He's very energetic for a prop, very mobile. Uh, he does a lot of work, tackles and rucks, and uh, that's always a key thing for the Type 5. And how, how deep into these finals can the Marlins go? Mate, all the way. I think uh, if you don't have the belief now, you shouldn't be here. So it doesn't matter uh, where you end up, one to six, you just got to play on the day and win and move on.